good morning everyone we had started with a new chapter democracy and already we have discussed many topics in this chapter but before we begin with our next topic we'll just have a brief review of whatever we have studied till now we have studied about what democracy is then we have studied about direct democracy indirect democracy why democracy is important and we have discussed about the two tales of democracy chile and poland of which chile we had discussed in detail as well right how democracy was there how democracy was overthrown by military dictatorship and how military dictatorship was thrown and democracy was restored the two tales of democracy chile we had already done today we'll start with poland now poland if you see right it was ruled by a non democratic communist party when we talk about non democratic right it means that people were enjoying no power right people were given no power pe- uh, people were given no power people were suffering right and people uh, people uh, didn't had even freedom of speech so we'll have just a, we'll uh, we'll just have a brief look of what was the condition of poland let us turn to another event this time from poland in 1980 at that time poland was ruled by the polish united workers party this was one of the many communist parties that ruled in several countries of east europe at that time in these countries no other political party was allowed to function means on, this was the only party and then it didn't allow any other party to function also the people could not freely choose the leaders of the communist party or the government those who spoke against the leaders or the party or the government were put in prison the government in poland was supported and controlled by the government of the soviet union a vast and powerful communist state on august 14 1980 the workers of lenin shipyard in the city of dangs went on a strike dangs is a city in poland right lenin shipyard shipyard is a place where ships are kept right the dockyard or the shipyard so lenin shipyard was a government owned shipyard in fact all the factories and big property in poland were owned by the government only the strike began with the demand to take back a crane operator a woman worker who was unjustly dismissed from service now even you know organizing a strike or raising voice was considered to be illegal because trade unions independent of the ruling party were were not allowed in poland means you cannot create you cannot have a union union of labors right in poland because it was considered to be illegal so people gathered in group people gathered in in a, in a union to raise a voice against government and this was illegal as the strike continued a former electrician of the shipyard lake walesha joined the strikers he was dismissed from service in 1976 for demanding higher pay walesha soon emerged as the leader of the striking workers the strike began to spread across the whole city now the workers started raising larger demands means slowly and slowly the revolution spread right from one voice to voices from voices to unions and now it began to spread something which was considered to be illegal right something which uh, you know something of which people should be afraid of there was no uh, you know people were no more afraid people gathered in unions which was considered to be illegal in poland and they began raising their voices they also demanded the release of political prisoners and an end to censorship on press the movement became so popular that the government had to give up The workers led by Walesha signed a 21 point agreement with the government that ended their strike means finally some hope the government had to give up and finally government had to agree with their demands the government agreed to recognize the workers right to form independent trade unions and their right to strike 
even right to strike was given now after dang's agreement was signed a new trade union called solidarity was formed it was the first time an independent trade union was formed in any of the communist states within a year solidarity swept across poland and had about 1 crore members revelations of widespread corruption and mismanagement in the government made matter worse for the rulers now what happened solidarity the trade union which was formed by lake walesha right slowly and slowly you know 1 crore people joined this trade union and people even came to know about the mismanagement about the corruption which the government has done the government done led by general zeruzelski grew anxious and imposed martial law in december 1981 now the government because you know uh, people came to know about the corrupt uh, corrupt activities of the government people began to be, began to have you know people began uh, people began to know about whatever the wrong deeds the government has done and the government didn't want it that people should come to know about it right the gov- the government didn't didn't want it to lose its hold hold over the poland so what it did it imposed martial law thousands of solidarity members were put in prison uh, prison freedom to organize protest and express of opinion was once again taken away and slowly again slowly what happened whatever the you know whatever rights they were given according to the agreement all those rights of the people were taken away people no longer uh, had freedom to organize protest or express opinion earlier also they didn't had so they revolted right they revolted so the government had to give up and they signed a 21 pages agreement and in that agreement it was a uh, freedom of expression was given they were given the right to form trade unions also now when this trade union solidarity was formed it gained a lot of fame and it uh, it gained a lot of fame and uh, across poland and slowly and slowly 1 crore people joined this trade unions now when this trade union came into existence people also came to know about the mismanagement of the government they came to know about what kind of corrupt corrupt activities the government had done the government didn't wanted to didn't wanted people to know more about the internal functionings about the uh, about any of the you know corruptions which they had done the government didn't wanted people to know about it so it imposed martial law and all most of the members of the solidarity were put in prison and all the rights were once again taken away right another wave strikes again organized by solidarity began in 1988 this time the polish government was weaker because they didn't had soviet union to back then right soviet union itself was undergoing a decline so this time the polish government was weaker earlier you know your so your polish government your non democratic communist party was able to survive in poland just because soviet union was backing it now soviet union itself was under scanner it was declining so another round of negotiations with walesha resulted in in an agreement in april in 1989 for free elections so now the government knew that they could no longer hold this feeling of nationalism or and they could no longer hold this revolution and they will have to agree with the demands of the people solidarity contested all the 100 seats of the senate and won 99 of them in october 1990 poland had its first presidential elections in which more than one party could contest walesha was elected president of poland right and finally democracy came in poland fine now if you have you will go through all these slides once again you will go through the uh, you'll go through this story of poland if any query is there you can contact me on your whatsapp group thank you